Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nephrite world. Today I have a visitor. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce his Minecraft name or her Minecraft name. I'm assuming it's a man or a boy um, just from the skin so apologies if you are a girl please let me know. Um, anyway I'm gonna just jump straight into this. Um, I don't normally do this kind of thing but I was just on the the server about to record and this member was really insistent on giving me a gift so I thought you know I'm about to record why not it's a one-off by the way oh look he's giving me a, um, ooh, a white backpack I wonder if he wants the backpack back oh oh my god this is amazing chocolate sprinkles cake carrot cake and in real life I really like carrot cake cheesecake again love cheesecake I'm always making it cherry cheesecake red velvet cake <gasps> and cake and ooh 64 hearty breakfast oh my god this is amazing this person must know me very well I do love my food oh thank you so much I'm gonna um thank you so much Deleza <laughs> it's brilliant do you want the backpack back the backpack back the backpack back <laughs> I like that do you want the backpack back you can have it back I will have some nice breakfast thank you very much oh I'm not hungry at the moment oh yay oh thanks I'm even allowed the backpack right okay so I'm gonna move on now and I've got some things to do with Thorncraft I've done lots of stuff off camera don't worry I'm not gonna do all the boring stuff on camera because well that's not fun. Okay so we're moving on now and what I want to do is I've got my runic matrix oh god oh there we go I've got my runic matrix set up here ready to go and the first thing I think I'm going to make on it are boots of the traveller and you might be thinking um didn't you have some? Yeah I did but I've kind of lost them um I had a bit of an accident so I'm going to have to make them which is great because to be honest I wanted to make them myself anyway and it was really nice to get them as a gift but now that I can I'm gonna make them so the first thing I'm gonna need is well I'm gonna need an essentia distillation thingamajig whatever you call them and I'm going to need an alchemical furnace now I've got the arcane stone blocks because I was working on those earlier I can make a furnace and a crucible um, I'm sure that's just iron and then you click on it with a wand isn't it um, it's a cauldron, sorry, but you use iron to make the cauldron. So I'm going to get right on that now. First of all, I'm going to take these arcane stone blocks because I need those. Now, I don't think I've got any iron on me. Oh, I do, actually. I don't think that's enough to make a cauldron, though. Oh, hang on, it might be. Yes, it is. Brilliant. Right, so we'll pop the cauldron down. And I'll just get my wand out of here. Um, I lost my basic wand, but thankfully, um, I, I died and I lost a bunch of stuff. And one of the things was my other wand. I thankfully didn't have this good wand on me at the time. Right, so I'm gonna need to pick this up with, I hope this stone pickaxe will be okay. Let's try it. Yep, oh, that was fine, brilliant. Right, so we've got the crucible we need, we've got the arcane stone blocks that we need, and we just need a furnace. And I don't have any stone on us, but I'm just gonna go outside and I'm gonna mine some stone dead quick. Right, I've got some cobblestone now so I can make a furnace. Ooh, while I'm here, I made a balcony that's it there and the reason I made that if you remember my chair kept throwing me off there's also this new little walkway it's much easier now for me to get to my Thorncraft well it's not just Thorncraft my mage tower but yeah so I made this balcony I'll quickly show you it before I move on and here it is it's just a basic little balcony I don't know I might put something out here at some point it looks over my all my other builds over there it looks really good I love it look at that got some uh, misty weather going on it's not, not not very nice weather but yeah so now when I, I sit down to do my research it just chucks me here right in the doorway so I can come back in and it's fine so that's good right now I've got all the stuff I need to make my alchemical furnace and I need the furnace I need the crucible and I need the arcane stone I might have done that yeah hang on I'm an idiot I'm in the crafting station and I need to be in here right, I'll just pop me wand in and just hope I've got enough stuff in the wand to make this now that was the that's not the recipe never mind 
there we go that's it that's it well I don't need 16 in that one um, I just need 5.25 of the water essence and 5.25 of the fire essence I'm pretty sure I'll have that in my wand yeah I do so da -da -da -da, alchemical furnace woohoo right so what this does is I, I, I really like this now I'm really getting into thorncraft what this does is it just works like a furnace you pop in your fuel in the bottom and whatever you want to burn in the top um, I haven't got any well I suppose I could just quickly just to show you put some wood in the bottom um, oh I might actually need to get the next part of it before I start burning stuff so I'll just tell you um, so you put your fuel in the bottom just like a furnace and then you put whatever you want to burn in the top and whatever essence is in that so for example in coal you've got fire and energy it will it will get the raw essence out of the item that you burn and you can put them in jars and that's what I need in order to use my runic matrix so this is kind of the next step so that I can get on with the runic matrix and get on with making stuff with the runic matrix right so the next thing I'm gonna need is this the arcane elembic and that is just iron, a bucket, one gold ingot, and a viz filter, which I haven't made yet, actually. Let's go back a page, which is just gold and silverwood log. Right, I knew I was going to need silverwood trees at some point. So I'm going to have to go out, go and find some silverwood trees in the wild, and get some, get some saplings. So I'll do that, and I'll be right back. I've been looking for silverwood trees for ages and all I found was a couple of silverwood leaves. There's some over at Quartz's place, but I don't want to go and chop those down because they're his and that would be a bit mean. But T Cozy's online and he's just told me that I can come over and chop some down chop some down? Chop down um a silverwood tree. So I think I'll go and do that. Sploosh. I need a better axe. Keep making the vanilla axes. I should make a, a good axe on the Tinker's Construct. Whoa! I forgot about that. That's why it took so long. Where did all the stuff go? Aha! I found them! Oh, God, I really thought something bad had happened there. Right. And that I wasn't going to get them. I'm going to drown getting all these, but... I really don't care. Right, quick, quick, quick. I want to drown. Let's move on and make what we came here to make. Now I have the recipe here. Oh, it was buckets and it was, oh, I've got plenty of iron. It was buckets and what else was it I needed? Um, well, I did have 64. Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened there. Some kind of um, lag. Right, five buckets for now will do, I think. Uh, what was the recipe again, quickly? Do, 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 do. It was a... We don't need that. Iron, 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 iron. Bucket, filter and gold. Right, cool. I'm glad I kept some of that gold. Right, so we've got, um, I think, gold on that side, was it? I mean, it might be the other way around, but we'll find out in a minute. Um, there was a bucket there, and there was iron, 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 iron. Yay! Arcane Alembic, right. I've only had enough to make four. I'll have to go and recharge my wand again. So, I just need to pop those on here, and I'm sure they stack. Yep, they do. Right, I've got enough room for another one. Just there. I'm just to get it started, I'll just pop some wood in there. Just some spruce wood logs there. Why not, right. So we'll stick the spruce wood in the bottom. And what shall we burn? Uh, should we burn some ice? There we go. That, what's that going to get us? There we go. It got, it got us um, gelum, I think that's called the ice one. Now that was just for an example. And as you can see, it's going into the Alembic. Um, and they hold up, th up to 32 of those. Um, I better put something in that I'll actually need. So if we go back to the Thormonomicon and look at i think it's in this one is it not yep there they are boots of the traveler we're going to need some enchanted fabric i've got the air shards we need a, a fish of some sort and a feather so just the enchanted fabric i need to get really i'm sure i've got some fish but it says we need eiter 
and Volatus, which is the flight one and the travel one. So we need to find items that have that in and pop them into my alchemical furnace. I've just been messing about for a little while now, experimenting with different things and I've got files of Essentia, I've got lots of jars of it, um, but I'm thinking that if I make a minecart that might have ITAR in it, because it's something that moves. So uh, we'll just go to the crafting bench and make a minecart. Let's see, well, we'll have a look first before we put it in the, the furnace. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's do it. Yes, it does. It's also got metal and cog, whatever that cog thing is. Um, so I'll have to be careful. One, two, yeah, I've got three spare alembic things. So that should be okay. We're not going to get anything bad happening. I need another water jar. I've got one left. Good. What's in that one? Arbor. Right. Right. Got some leather. Let's make some leather boots. Right. Let's just double check we've got everything that we need. Enchanted fabric. Check. Air shards. Check. Leather boots. Check. Feather. Check. Some kind of fish. Check. Right. <gasps> this is exciting. Right. Um, and I've got... Let's just double check. Yep, 25 Iter and 25 Volatus. Got 36 of that, so that's plenty. And 42, yeah, that's fine. Right, now the only thing I'm thinking about is I don't have anything that helps balance out the runic matrix. Like you can get skulls and other type of, I think, candles as well. Yeah, you pop them around and it kind of helps it a little bit, helps the balance. But I don't have any of that yet. So this might go horribly wrong, right? There's my boots. Now I need um, two fabric, we'll put them there, right there we go, two air shards, I'll put the fish in the middle, and I'll put the feather in the middle, right okay it's all set up, oh, right here we go, here we go, I don't know where to stand, I'm scared, let's float, ooh, ow! Oh! I didn't mean to do that. Right, there we go. It's taken, it's taken the stuff it needs. Oh god, I hope this works. I'm really excited. Oh god. I'm glad I'm up here. I would have got... If I'd been down there, I might have got hit by that lightning. Oh, it's taken the iter. Oh, oh. Oh, it's still going. Oh god, it's taken so long. I don't like it. I think it's going to fail and I'm going to explode. Okay, oh, it's taking the items. Oh no, that, that, that can't be good. That also cannot be good. Quick, quick, quick. Feather, right, okay, I'm back. Salmon, salmon. Oh dear, is it gonna work? Yay, I did it. Oh my God, this is literally the first thing. How do I get it? Give it to us, I want it. What's going on? Oh no, have I failed? Oh no, should you have to right click? Oh, oh, I did it! This is literally the first thing, this is the first time I've ever used the runic matrix and I'm really proud because I've literally figured it out myself. I've got Boots of the Traveller! Oh yeah, oh this is brilliant. Oh, back to being able to move at a decent speed. Oh. Right, okay, I'm now gonna go, um, I don't know, I think, I think, I think I've done a lot in today's episode. I think I'm, I'm quite proud, actually. So, I've been Kashi, and I will see you next time. Bye!